honestly kind of looks like in an old motel. We didn't even get out of our car. So. <laughs> oh, they have some stuff. I like the outside more than I like the inside because it looks small. Now I gotta make a decision if I wanna keep it or not. Hi, it's Jenna Kelly with Narcity USA and I'm finally moving out of my parents' house. I mean, I'm 26, it's about time, right? I am on the apartment hunt and I'm bringing you all with me to see what is actually out there in the South Florida real estate market because we know it's saturated, we know it's expensive, but what do these places actually look like and what can you actually get when you're on a budget? And my budget is no more than $1,700 a month because one, that's a lot of money to begin with. Two, I don't really want to live paycheck to paycheck. And that's actually probably on average what you can get something for in South Florida. Um, if not, it's on the low end. I'm looking for a 1-1 one -one or a 2-1 or whatever I can get for the best possible price. I do have a dog, so I have an emotional support animal letter, but I do want to have a preferable pet friendly location. Um, location is also everything. I'm looking for a spot in between probably Pompano Beach area and downtown. I know the more downtown you go, the pricier it gets. So I'm hoping to find that happy medium. Um, it's gonna definitely be a challenge to check off all the boxes that I have in store, but I am confident that I'll find one. Uh, there is one out there. Luckily, I'm not on a deadline as far as leaving my parents' house. Uh, so that's only in my benefit. However, it is going to be a little bit of a struggle to find one because I do want to move out. I'm ready to go. <laughs> and um, the goal is to get a spot that I really, really like that's worth getting. But let's begin the tours. Not too sure about the area. It honestly kind of looks like an old motel, but we're already here. So we might as well check out the inside. That's my realtor I'm waving hi to. Um, also pulling up, it's on the second floor. There's a trash bag next door from the people that live next door, which is not really a, the most appealing thing to look at when you're checking out your new first apartment. <laughs> like honest thoughts. But the inside's like a world of a difference, I feel like. Like this is like all new-ish, I think. Oh, ew, some of the stuff in the fridge. So this is the living room? Yes. And then there's two bedrooms. See that shape? See, this looks nice, but then you go in here. Oh, I guess it's just like a shoe bag. So that apartment was $1,850, which is $150 over like my max asking price. And that was a price decrease. That's what the listing said. And that was, I've seen better places for less. So I know there's better out there. I think that was more just location because it was right near the highway, which can get you very close by anywhere around Fort Lauderdale. But I don't know. That was not the move for me. It was a little dirty. It kind of looked like a motel. The inside was renovated, but I don't want to live where it looks bad on the outside and only looks good on the inside. So we are going to our next one, which I believe is a duplex. So the thing about Fort Lauderdale is you could go one street where it's really nice and like the downtown area and you could go like two streets over and like you don't even want to be in the neighborhood. And that's kind of what happened. With this one, it was in my asking price, it was $16.50, but I, we didn't even get out of our car. So <laughs> that's kind of where we're at right now. So the search continues for sure. 
So I just got to the listing and right off the bat, I love that it's in a neighborhood. Um, the neighborhood looks clean, it looks safe, I feel safe. Um, it's super close to where I live now, which is a bonus for me. I really love this area, it's kind of near the beach. So hopefully the rest of it is good too. I love those floors because it makes everything look just clean. It's an open space also, so it makes the place feel a lot bigger than it actually is. I love the kitchen. They have all new appliances. Going into the bathroom, I love the long countertop. So much room there. Um, the big mirror is really cool. Moving on to the bedroom. I love the size of it. Oh, it is raining so bad, but my thoughts, I love it. I actually didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I did, and now I gotta make a decision if I wanna keep it or not. Because my real estate agent said these kind of places go quick, so I'm down to the wire now. So I put down an offer for an apartment that I liked, and I got denied. So this is gonna be a little harder than I thought it would be. Uh, I had all the criteria. They asked for my driver's license, two to three recent pay stubs. I sent three. Um, I also sent in my credit score and I have an ESA letter uh, for emotional support animal. And I have a pretty good credit score, so I thought I had it in the bag, but apparently the people that also put down an offer against me were um, offering more money. And it was for 1650 for a 650 square foot apartment. Uh, I didn't think that somebody would offer more. My realtor said it's not as typical um, to do this. So I guess we keep on seeing what's going on. This listing showed up a lot of times when I would get emails from my realtor about apartments and I kept denying it because it was 580 square feet going for 1650, but they decreased the price to 1600 and I decided why not just give it a chance. So. It's on the second floor, which I liked, but it was very cluttered and the apartment I found out came furnished, but I don't like that because a big thing for me is like cleanliness and I don't want to use somebody's old bed, somebody's old couch. Like I want it to feel like my completely new apartment. So right off the bat, I knew this wasn't the one for me, but it was in a really nice location in the sense of it had a waterfront view. It was really pretty. Outside, this is in an area that I would actually really like to move in. It's like the nice in between, between like not downtown and in between downtown. So let's look inside. And it's by Starbucks, which is dangerous. Okay, so the floor looked like dark gray in the listing, but I mean, we put rugs over that, right? And I think it's spacious. It's 
got an open plan. It's got two windows over here. I think the two doors are for fire hazards, right? Yeah. So you have a good I'm five two, and this is literally as tall as me. So <laughs> no one tall to come in here. I like the kitchen. It's like small. It's pretty nice. Someone left the Brita. So I guess it comes with the Brita, which is like, all right. <laughs> Bathroom. It's got old school tile. It's kind of retro. Don't really mind it. Goes with like an aesthetic. And the only downfall is this bedroom is like, oh, there's no light in here. I don't even know what that light goes to, but it's just small. Like you can like, I don't know. Like it looks, can, does it look small? It really, I feel like you can only fit like one bed in here, probably from like here to the wall would be a queen size bed and then you get like a nightstand next door, which I mean, I guess like you don't need like all the works for your bedroom where you just sleep here, but that's the only thing I would say. So final update, I'm a little frustrated. Um, I found a great spot after seeing so many apartments and I put in an application for it and I got denied again. So I have good credit. Um, I have an ESA letter for my dog, which is an emotional support animal letter. Um, so that they, what that means is they really can't deny me even if they have like no pets allowed for that reason. However, my biggest concern is I have other people applying that look just as good on paper as I do. Um, and they go with them because they might not have a dog or for whatever reason. Um, my realtor told me for this specific location, I got denied because there were 16 applicants. So it was just kind of luck of the draw, I guess, for that. Um, but yeah, so it is way harder than I thought it was going to be. I'm still searching. I've seen tons of apartments at this point, tons of listings. Um, yeah, I think the issue is not only that it like apartments are in such high demand right now and how expensive they are versus what you can get and what it's worth. I think the amount of people looking for an apartment is also super high. And I think that's the issue that I'm running into. Hopefully I find one in the near future, but until then, this is the reality of the apartment hunt in South Florida. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our Narcity channel to see more content just like this.